sorry, I didn't realize it had started. What is up? Hope you're having a good day so far. It is 7.45 here on the 26th of April, I believe. I hope so, because I'm on my way to a dermatologist appointment. So, see what's going on with all this, because none of my medicine's really working, so that's fun. Uh, so fun. So, so fun. So, and I'm in a wedding in a couple months, so I'd rather just uh, not do this, you know? So, stress doesn't help either, but yeah. Um, gonna go to this appointment, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Run home and clean some stuff up. And then uh, I got class today at 2.30. We need to get some homework done. So hopefully do some of that. You know. But my life is not very exciting. I'm hoping the summer is much more exciting for the vlogs. I just want to consistently vlog. Even when my life is very boring. That way I get in the habit of it. So yeah i've got a couple weeks of school left i need to hunker down on that so i don't know if vlogging is will be as prominent this week um i might go to trivia tonight i don't know a friend of mine wants me to come over with luna but i don't think i'm going to because i just have so much to do so that's important that i take care of that Hey guy. Sorry, there's a car truck just stopped in the middle of the road. Oh. Just doing some construction, I guess. This is a, like a, it's a pretty dangerous little so The fact that they're like stopped. It's a little intense, but we're almost to the bottom, so it's fine. I think they're filling some potholes. So, they should really have the, the signs out. They don't have any of the signs out. So we would have known. Oh. Yield in. We yield in. Sorry, my hair is still wet. I woke up late, so I didn't wasn't feeling good last night. I fell asleep sitting on the couch, which I never do. Never, so. Lewis was put up our kennel and I woke up to her barking. Thank goodness, because my phone was, like, half dead. So, that's fun. <clears throat> yeah, she, um, she's doing pretty good. Um, very stubborn, which huskies are a stubborn, stubborn, stubborn breed. So, and then she's high energy, because she's a husky. So, um, I got another, I have another 30 days before I can get her fixed. So, I want her to be six months, which I think she has to be six months anyway, so. Um, I need to call and set her a vet appointment. So, I'll probably do that today or next week. I got plenty of time. Let's set her a vet appointment and see how much, how much it is. So, I need to look up the number. Maybe I won't be late. I'm on the road that it's on. I'm just like all the way down it. So I've got about 10 minutes to get there because my appointment's at 8 and it is 7.50. So, and like I said, sorry I'm not terribly exciting. Yeah, Luna and I have been going on walks, but I haven't really been vlogging them. need to get back into those blocks this weekend. I just don't think we're going to get one today. So. But. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm pretty boring. I'm hoping the rest of this year is a lot more exciting for these. Um, maybe I vlog too much. I don't know. I don't know. I need to keep content up and I don't always, I'm not always able to get like an actual one up. So, you know that's a thing so we'll see how it goes wish my hair would dry it's pretty freaking wet hopefully you don't look at me like I'm a weirdo walking up in here with this wet ass hair that was a cute little house for sale 
trying to find something. Something, something. The one that I like, I just, I think it's gonna be sold before I can get it, so. Everything's a waiting game <laughs> in my life currently, and um, I'm a very impatient person, so. That's a thing. But it's whatever, I guess. Actually, I'm a pretty patient person. It's just, I'm patient with other people and other types for the most part. I'm just impatient with this part of my life. Like I wanna, I wanna be done. I just uh, wanna be back out of my parents and whatnot. So, yeah. Traffic's going pretty slow. Oh, well, I guess I'm not going to be late. Alright, guys, I'm going to get off here because I'm getting ready to pull in. I forgot it was this close. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you lovelies later. Bye! Hey, vlog! So, just left my dermatology appointment. Um, they're taking me off the med I'm on now, and I'm going to start Accutane in a month. So, I'll probably start doing Accutane videos because <laughs> I know they're, um, it's... Everyone always wonders about it, because I know I had two YouTubers, two of my favorite YouTubers, um, went on Accutane, and I've been keeping up with their stuff for the most part, so I'm pretty familiar with it, I guess. Um, so I've been researching it and stuff like that, and they said it might be an option last time I was there, but I have such bad, like, cystic acne at my age that they think that I should just go ahead and do it, because I do it and then I'm done. So, six months and I'm done. So, um, <clears throat> I think that's awesome. So, I took a pregnancy test today. Not pregnant. Woo! <laughs> so, um, then, um, 30 days from now I go get lab work to prove I'm not pregnant again. And then I have to, um, do a couple other, they gotta check cholesterol and a couple other things like that which is good and then um <clears throat> after that then they should be able to start me once it all comes back good and clean and solid so after that like every month I get pregnancy tested and stuff like that which is fine because I'm not not having sex so it's fine <laughs> so yeah my p situation is just not not worth it to not worth messing it up so sex is not worth trying to get this one thing taken care of that I've had my whole life that I've always tried to get rid of so yeah but they gave me a nice big pamphlet book thing that I signed up for and stuff like that the only thing that sucks is I have to go back every month so the copay kind of sucks <laughs> so especially because I'm switching insurances from a good insurance but not so great insurance so kind of wish I would have done this like six months ago but it's fine it's fine <laughs> So, um, that's exciting. I'm excited. When I originally went in for my initial appointment, that's what I wanted to do was go ahead and get put on the Accutane, but she wanted to see what this medicine would do first, which is fine. So, what I'm actually going to continue taking it until I switch to Accutane just to keep everything not as bad. Like, it's not the worst right now, but, because it's been worse. It's been worse. It helps a little bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep everything going, so... Um, I'm pretty excited for that. I'm on my way home now. Luckily, I only live like 10, 15 minutes from my dermatologist. Um, depending on what my copay is when I switch insurances. Oh, man, I meant to say by, stop by CVS. It's a little late now, though. Maybe, uh, on my way from school, I'll stop. But, um, part of me wants to put out buying a house because of these every month visits. So, it's depends what my copay is so what I'll find out next visit probably so um, I should be fully on my other insurance by then so that's fun yeah super super excited <laughs> I'm glad I can start getting this taken care of so I'm 23 and I just hate having acne this bad so <clears throat> but I'll do a video over that so. about the process so because to be honest I don't think somebody can talk about something like this too much every person is different and I think it's important to get a bunch of different people's views that way um, you're more 
informed about the side effects and such. It not just, I mean, they give you a really good pamphlet and stuff, but I think it, it helps seeing other people's experiences. So that's one thing I want to do because everyone reacts different to things. So, um, it should be, uh, should be an interesting journey. I'm nervous, but super excited for it. So, um, 30 days from now, we'll be in May. So, I'll probably start it in May. And then, um, I'll have, um, June and July will be interesting because I'm in a wedding <laughs> in July. So, hopefully, I figure out something with my skin by then. Hopefully, it either gets better or, like, because I know you tend to dry out, which is weird for me because I've never, never been dry never been dry so that'll be like a whole different ball game so I really need to start researching stuff now and you know use my <laughs> oily person foundation now <laughs> so because I don't know if that'll be like a huge thing when um, I get done or not which that's a year from now which I think foundation expires in a year anyway so I should probably just go ahead and uh, and uh, take care of that you know you know, you know. So, I think I've got like three foundations I'm in between right now. So, I need to just go ahead and finish those things out. So, um, pretty excited for it. Um, uh, because I was on a pill and then I was on two creams every night. And to be honest, like the pill was one thing. And I like, I regularly wash my face anyway. So, that's not an issue. But the creams are what got me. I don't like going to bed with things on my face. And I had to put two decent amounts of cream on my face, which I'm going to continue doing it until um, I start the Accutane just because I need to. But I, I'm kind of relieved. So, and you know, a lot of symptoms not only did they talk about, but she mentioned and everybody else talked about was, uh, <sighs> so sorry, I'm so yawning. I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna make breakfast when I get home. Sorry. Fat person track. <laughs> um, I, um, they said something about body aches, like you can ache, your body can ache, which doesn't sound like fun, but at the same time, I should be fine. Um, and then, um, what a YouTuber said something about doling headaches, like low dole headaches, so I'm hoping I don't get that situation, you know. But for the most part, I should be okay. So we'll see. I react normally pretty well to medicine, so I should be okay. I've got a pretty good tolerance to most things. So I know that's saying, not saying anything because, you know, every medicine's different and whatnot. But, um, you know, I think I'll feel better. So, and then my mom can keep an eye on me. She's a, she's a nurse getting ready to become a nurse practitioner. So she, uh, she can keep an eye on me. So, just in case. But I'll be going back every month, so it won't be, like, a huge deal or anything, you know? So, she she keeps me from dying most days. You know, that's whatever. <laughs> I love her. I can have a cold and I call him, I'm dying. She'll be your fun. No, Mom. I'm dying. <laughs> so. Uh, it's, uh, it's about 50 degrees outside. It's, uh, 9 o'clock now. My appointment took about an hour, which isn't too bad. I'm waiting for my folks to get home. So, it'll be a, probably be a couple hours before they get home. So, I'm gonna do some cleaning to surprise them. Ooh, I'm so sorry. I'm the worst. Definitely gonna make myself something for breakfast. I don't know. I'm gonna make scrambled eggs. Yeah. I think some scrambled eggs sound really good. So, huh. I wish my siblings were here to help me, but, you know, it's whatever. Whatever, whatever. No, none of them are, none of them are there. Alright, well, I will talk to you guys later in the vlog. We'll see where, where I'm at. Alright, bye! Hello, guys. So, I just received a package from Boxum. Boxum? 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 Uh, apparently I ordered something 
Like, I have an order form here, but apparently I ordered two things. I'm not sure what they are. I don't remember ordering these, but apparently I did. It was in the mailbox. So, here's the package. It says, Big Bold Sexy. So, I figured I could open it on camera real quick with you. So, uh, oh, there's just some bubble wrap at the bottom. So, look at how nice it is. It's just so cute. Oh, one of them fell out. And the other one is. Oh, okay, so they sent me a Buxom eyeshadow bar. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty in the color Mink Magnet. It's like a really pretty champagne shimmer. It's pretty. Ooh, it's like a pinky champagne. It's very, uh, very pretty. Hmm. I like that. It's, it's pretty. And then apparently I ordered Buxom's Lash Mascara in Oom Volume Intense. And it's in a bunch of different languages around it, which is super cute. Um, so the Buxom. And there's a cute little girl in the back. She's cute. So, uh, Apparently I ordered that. I don't remember ordering this. Like at all. Oh. Here it is. A little mascara. Awesome. It's in the color Blackest Black. Ooh, I really like the wand. Oh, cool focus. There it goes. There it goes. There's the wand doesn't seem to have, have too much of a smell to it. It smells kind of like regular mascara. I'm going to put it back in the box. But yeah, that package came today. Um, apparently, I paid $20 for that mascara. And then I paid $5 shipping and handling. So, I don't remember ordering it. I don't. I've never ordered off the Buxom website. Oh, you know what? I uh, I got an Ipsy. Um, so I could start doing Ipsy hauls. And I bet that it um, <clears throat> start. I bet I bought it on the uh, Ipsy, Ipsy website and completely freaking forgot about it. That's probably what happened. Anyway, there's our like little mini haul out of the package. I wasn't sure what it was and now I just remember. So... All right, I'm off to school. I will uh, talk to you lovelies later. Bye.